I have okay, won. you won this game. <laughs> yes, I yeah. won this game again, guys. I want to talk about this very cool game called Coins in a Circle. And to play this game, I have with me Karan, who's a fellow math lover like me, and he loves to play math games as well. So let me explain the game to you. So you see this circle here. So this is where we are going to play the game. Think of it as the board of our game. I have these blue plastic coins, a bunch of them, and Karan has green plastic coins. You know, again a bunch of them. So the way we will play the game is at every player's turn, they are going to place a coin on the table anywhere in an empty space. And then the next player goes and then we keep doing this till one player runs out of space to place another coin. So that player is the loser of the game, which means that the last player to place their coin on the table is the winner of the game. Okay, so Karan, should yes. we play this game? Definitely. So remember guys that you cannot place a coin so that it overlaps another coin, so you can't do this. Mm -hmm. and you cannot place a coin so that it goes outside the circle. So you can't do either of these two things. All right. So now let's start this game. So Karan, I'll go first. Sure. Okay. So here I go. Okay, I'll place it here. Okay, let me see if I have space. I think I can fit in a coin here. Yes. And can I fit in a coin here? Yeah, I think I can. Okay. Uh, I think I have run out of space. Yeah. There's no more space. So I placed the last coin on the table. So guys, this round is a round that I win. I lose. All right. So do you want to go again? Yes. Okay, uh, let's quickly I'll, do one more. I'll try to win this. Okay. Time Why don't sure. you go first this time? Okay, sure. Uh, Touching another point, it's going over the. You can't place it here? Uh, okay. It doesn't seem right. Okay. I think I've. Okay, I fit a coin here. Yes. Ah. It's not going outside. And what if I fit a coin here? Okay. <laughs> um, I'll try placing it. Ooh, okay. no, it's overlapping. It's overlapping. So I think I. So I win this game again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This might seem like a really weird random game to you, but the really interesting thing is that I have a winning strategy for this game, which means that I can play this game in a way that I am guaranteed to win no matter how Karan plays. Crazy, isn't it? But Karan, should we talk about it? Should we, uh, yeah. should we play once more? So I'll go first and this time I can already predict that I'm going to win this game. Okay, That's here it. I go. Okay, I'll place my coin here. I place my coin here. Okay, I place it here. Okay, so I go here. Okay. Yeah. And here I go, I think with the last one. Is uh, this the last one? Or there's one more? I think I have space here without no, no. going outside the circle. Okay, so I have space here in that case. Okay. And now? And I okay, won. you won this game. Yes, I won yeah. this game again, guys. So how did I win this game? Did you notice any pattern in how I was playing the game? Well, here's a quick replay of how we played. So here's how I played and won this game. Since I was the first player, I took my first coin and placed it exactly at the center of the board. So let's say this is the center here. So I placed my first coin here. And then for every move that Karan makes, I will place my coin at the exact diametrically opposite position with respect to the center. So I'll place my coin here in this case. Now, if Karan moves here, let's say, then I will move here. If current moves, maybe move closer to the center, okay. then I will move here, right? And we keep doing this. And what this does is that as long as current has an empty space to place a coin, I have the diametrically opposite empty space also to place a coin, which means that as long as current can move, as long as current can place a coin on the table, I can also place a coin on the table. And when we run this game to its end, what happens is that I'm guaranteed to be the last player of the game. So I definitely win this game. 
so karan did you enjoy it yes it was fun okay uh, thanks to you yes now i want to think about what will happen if instead of this circular board i have this square board to play the game do you think the winning strategy i used in case of the circular board will still work here well let's explore so if you take this point the center of the square let's call it o and take any point inside the square anywhere so let's take this point here let's call it a and now take the point that's the exactly the opposite of a with respect to o so we have this point b here now what will happen if with respect to the center o i rotate this square to in interchange the two points like this what happens well the square comes back to exactly its uh, the same position which means that this point o is the point of symmetry for this square so that means that the same strategy that i used for the circular board should work here how so as a first player i will place my first coin at the exact center of the square and then for every move that my opponent makes so let's say he places the coin here i will place my coin at the exactly opposite position so as long as my opponent can place a coin on the table i can also place a coin on the board and that means that i am guaranteed to win in this case as well and now i want to leave you all with a question if instead of this square board i have this triangular board to play this game do you think my winning strategy will still work in this case think about it play this game and let us know your thoughts in the comments